So I need Prima Gems, like badly. Something probably every Genshin player has said ever. So I wanted to challenge myself to see just how many Prima Gems I could get within one day. To help me out, I've created a list of everything I could possibly do today that could give me Primos. That includes exploring, limited time events, questing, statues of seven, upgrading the trees, achievements, and daily commissions. Now I know there are way more ways to get primos, but we're just not gonna do that today, okay? This is enough. Let me show you how many primo gems and wishes we have at the start. I have 41 primos and 203 wishes. So I think we're gonna begin in Fontaine because my exploration in Fontaine is... Yeah, it's pretty bad here. I also have to complete the end of the Sealy event, which is in Fontaine as well, so it just works out. I know we get a pretty large amount of primos from the Sealy event too, so let's start with that. This is also gonna be my first Sealy event ever, and I'm literally so excited. They're so stinking cute. Okay, this is the right area for the Lost Ridges event. Oh, it's so pretty here. I'm already halfway finished the Sealy event, so we're just gonna finish it today. Oh, and there's already a big chest here. I'm like not 100% sure what Sealy I want to get, but the Sealy that we get for the event, pretty sure that's the Fontaine Sealy we can choose. He's literally so cute. I don't know if I should go for him or not. Start treasure hunting. Collect the energy near the treasure area. Okay. It's like pretty easy, which is nice. It's kind of fun to do like simple little challenges. I like how Genshin mixes it up between like simple challenges and quests for limited time events. 10 primos. Let's go. Another 10 primos. Okay, we finished all the treasures in this area. I don't just have the last section. This one I think is underwater. Not gonna lie, I was kind of having trouble finding some of the Sealy event locations. Look how cute the bubbles are with the little bunny ears. Twenty primos. Okay, we got twenty primos from that. Now we just have the epilogue. The Sealy event is done. I'm kind of sad. It was really fun. Almond, what do you have for us? Okay, y'all. Moment of truth. Who do I pick? I'm kind of leaning towards getting Moss just because he matches Nahida. I, I think I'll just do it. I think I'll just do it. Okay, okay, whoa, we can actually get a lot of primos from this event. That's very exciting. 300 little Sealy. I literally can't get over how cute my little Sealy is. Look how cute he is. Little Moss, he's literally perfect. Okay, now I have a lot of waypoints that I still need to get for Fontaine. Fontaine is like my most neglected area of all of Tibet. So we have to remember at the end of the video to check my statues because some of the statues also will give us keys so that we can unlock the shrines and get way more primos from that. See, look, I literally already found an oculus. Another oculus, let's go. Huh. Parkour! Five primos, thanks! Nahida's always so short. She's always too short to reach. There's so many oculi in this area. This is perfect. Billy Goat, Billy Goat. Huh. Come on, Billy Goat. I love exploration and I know my characters be struggling with the cardio when I'm running around everywhere. I don't know about you guys, but I'm literally always struggling with these Fontaine puzzles. Like, <laughs> I don't know if they just have different mechanics in the rest of Tibet or if I'm just not good at puzzles, but like, why do I struggle so much?
See, look. Literally, what do you mean I didn't unlock? What do you mean? Okay, what does this do? Oh, doesn't like hydro. Okay, big brain. Let's go. Let's go. I'm not going to pretend I didn't need to ask my brother how to do this. Let's go home, little Sini. Come on. Yes. I wonder who this gift could be from. Okay, we have another waypoint. Parkour. Parkour. Please reach. Please reach. Very nice. Nice, nice, nice. It's so pretty here. Okay, it says there's waypoints below us, I think. Oh, there's a cave. Oh, this is fun. Okay, where's this waypoint though? Oh, oh, a cutscene. So help me. Loki, I get jump scared by the cutscenes. Especially in regions I haven't even finished the Archon Quest. Like, what do you mean I have a cutscene? Spoilers. Come on, come on, come on. Whoa, look how pretty. Anyways, let's move on. I think the waypoint's up here. Come on. Billy got it. Yes. Okay, there's a challenge here. Middle of wait, what is this? <gasps> Collect all the particles. Oh, it's easy. <gasps> what is shooting at me? What is shooting at me? <laughs> I have two targets on my back. Brilliant. Nice. Five primos. It's still here. Oh, we got to do it again. Okay. Ten primos. Whoa, help, help. Where did I go? You know what? That's going to be a quest down there, and I know it, and we're leaving. Me when I'm struggling to find a waypoint. Motherfucker, where is it? Where the is it? I swear to God. You laughing, girl? You trying to laugh? This. A challenge. I might walk on water for this. Whoa. Is it going to bring me under? Yo. I'm loving these swimming ones. They're so pretty. Another swimming one. I literally missed it. You're joking. You're joking. It's a skill issue, I swear. I'm getting so many achievements too. This is so exciting. I'm hoping we can at least get like one ten pull by the end of this video. Does anyone else feel bad for having to kill these innocent sea creatures for jests? Just me. I feel so bad, like raining on their parade. Like, look at them. They've done. They're not coming after me. I want those primos though. I love the swimming ones. Like, look! I just had to kill them. Like, what do you mean? Okay, there's another waypoint up here. What is this? This is fun. I think it needs hydro. Maybe? We're moving. Let's go. Oh, what's out here? There's a platform to the Oculus. Okay, this is so fun. I really love the puzzles. Fontaine really has a lot of challenges that just want you to look at the scenery, and I love that for us. Like, look how pretty it is up here in the sunset. I'm not gonna lie though, I miss the scenery, scenery so much. I still do my daily commissions there because it's just so pretty. Oh, 
what okay that one was low-key kind of hard i couldn't see the shells we had to shoot at what am i what what do you want y'all don't know how long this freaking challenge took me i had to message in my discord for help i couldn't get it good luck if you find that there are so many challenges here definitely good that i picked a spot where like my exploration was like 20 percent oh miss mia for the rescue let's go let's go i actually never use her i never really use bow characters and i I wished for Yoimi at the middle of this year when her last stream one was and I really like her but like I never use her I don't know if it's just because I don't use pyro a lot but she's really pretty I think I need to build like a team around her just so I can use her more you know what does it even want me to do these challenges are crazy oh we got it we got it we got it Okay, Farina is actually OP for these type of challenges. Like, I don't know what I would do without her. I don't know how people are getting these hydro particles on the surface without a character that can walk on water. Like, how do y'all do it? Because I'm cheating right now. I'm cheating. Oh my god, and the waypoints right here. You're kidding. I'm literally blessed. Okay, we're gonna check on the statue because I'm pretty sure I have enough hydro oculi to get this key. And I do okay and I also think I know where a shrine is I marked this earlier come on Sayu let's get you out so that we can get there faster okay, how many primos do these give you again 40 is crazy that's exciting and with the exploration I did get all of my commission challenges done so let's grab those primos add astra applesauce hi catherine slay okay i feel like i want to get the pearliest trail quest done today i need to get kokomi's quest done ride in shoguns and ito's and then get pearliest trail done and i would like to start with kokomi's honestly i feel like i'm gonna have the most fun with that one so let's let's start off strong I love how in the character story quest you actually get to try them out and get to know characters that you don't have in your team like look how pretty she is i will be going for kokumi's rerun in 2024 mark my words why do y'all think i need so many wishes especially when you get to like walk behind them like did you guys do ayaka's story quest we got to walk behind ayaka she's so stinking cute i wish i could have gone for her current banner that was out like this past week but i'm currently saving for nahida khan's nahida's weapon and yaimiko's rerun and i'm pretty sure those two are coming out pretty soon because we haven't seen them in a while so that's what i'm like holding out for and we're gonna start okay we're gonna do raiden's next we finished kokumi's quest and now let's do raiden's hello madam may i visit those teapots i don't know if you can come over if i'm in a quest but feel free to check it out i actually really need to redo my teapot it's embarrassing in there see like playing as raiden it's so fun because typically you only get to play these characters when their character trial is here i love it also i love the genshin lore i love to get to know the characters miss miko i need to pre-farm y'all remind me i need to pre-farm for her look how pretty she is it's so pretty okay enough spoilers we are done that quest 60 primos and we're gonna check out my other statues in the other regions i'm pretty sure i have enough for an inasuman key if i recall hell yeah let's go let's go and i think that i have a shrine marked down there yep okay it's right there with ease Curiosity 
40 primos. Also, I'm getting some artifact food, which is amazing. Okay, now it's time to brave the Perlius Trail quest. I am not gonna be adding spoilers, so we're gonna cut to when I'm finished, but we're gonna get it done today because I'm pretty sure in the adventure handbook, I get wishes when I finish Archon quests, and that quest is like a year overdue in my book, so we're just gonna get it done. We're just gonna get it done. Four hours later. Four many, many long hours later, I have completed the Perlius Trail quest, but now it's time for the moment of truth in my guidebook. How many wishes do I have? Okay, hear me out. I have finished the Sumeru quest, the Chasm quest, and I've also done maybe like a quarter way through the Fontaine Archon quest, so I know I have a lot of wishes here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, started the Sumeru quests. Okay. Oh, I think I have more than I was expecting. Oh, that's so exciting. It's still going. Okay, now we're into Fontaine quests. Oh, okay, now we're done. I've only done the first part. Okay. Oh, that's so exciting. It's time for the grand reveal on just how many wishes I was able to get by the end of my video today. I was able to get a whopping total of 222 wishes. That's crazy. That's 19 wishes almost two full temples which is actually insane i will say i did play for seven hours and 45 minutes today but it was worth it it was worth it because hopefully i can get nahida's weapon and possibly be able to get yamiko those are definitely my two must-haves for this year i'm so excited for them to rerun insane i was on here for seven hours anyways it didn't feel like that long <laughs> anyways Thank you so much for watching today's video and joining me on my journey just to see how many wishes I can get in one day of playing Genshin. If you did enjoy today's video, please feel free to like and subscribe so that YouTube does know that people like my content. And yeah, I had a lot of fun filming this video. I really miss making Genshin Impact Let's Plays and content, so I'm hoping to make more in the future. But yeah, have a great day and thank you for watching.